Hello and welcome back to my job tutorial series. As you can see our results from the last episode, which was scanners and some formatting stuff. I'm just gonna get right into it by starting our project for this episode, episode 16. And on this episode we're gonna cover things that are better than arrays, arguably, and iterators, which um iterators are good for the topic we'll be discussing, but you know, of course, now we'll just start with our not a class package, preferably. Domain. Okay. Now all of our stuff is gonna, mo um, as far as I remember, all of our stuff is gonna come from java.util which you know stands for utility so we can just import that right away public void main string array capital S with the string array args now the first thing we're going to get into is um, my favorite it's very useful and it's called in um, it has to be public and static array list. Now this is a generic type so we have to see what we're gonna store in it. You can store any object just like any generic type but and we're gonna be storing strings. I'm just gonna call it strings equals new array list. We can just use diamond notation. There now I have a new array list. Now array list is a very useful class if I hover over it You'll see um, stuff about it. You know, there's a whole bunch of um, explanations and stuff. And other stuff. It um, I, I forget if it um, extends list or implements. It extends lists list, which implements um collection. But it's a collection of things. So we can do strings dot. We can add a string onto the end of the array list. We can add a string to the a certain index in the list add all of a collection which you know um, we'll get over collections maybe um, clear the entire list clone the array list check to see if it contains a certain string well an object but it'd be um, a string if it can like contains all of the stuff in the specified collection Ensure capacitorly equals get things, get something at a certain index, get the index of a certain object, and and iterator and stuff. But now we're just going to do strings dot strings dot add. Um, hello, and we'll just do a couple of these. There's a couple. So now we have all of those. Now we can do system dot out dot print line strings dot will do um, contains a string. Let's see if this object contains a, a comma followed by a space. It's a boolean, so it would be true or false, and hopefully it'll return true because well, it does contain um, such a thing. So it's true. Now if we um, make it just a comma without the space, I think it'll be false. Because right now it's not looking at the it's not looking like this the characters in the str well it's looking to see if it contains something matches exactly this string. It's not looking to see if um, if the strings it contains contains other things. Okay. Okay, yeah. So that's just like if it contains. You can do that with any object. We're just doing strings for the convenience of it. We can equal it. See if it equals um something else. We can get. So we let's see um print out index two, which should be world. There we go. Index two is world because you go zero, one, two, three, and such. Other things you can do with this. We can also add them at certain indices and stuff. Check if it's empty. Remove. You can either remove an index or remove an object from the list, or you can remove all in the in stuff. You can set stuff. Um, 
get the size, which is like the array dot length, except um, it's called size when you're using these things. And then the iterator. I think since we um, obviously I print I did this so we can um, print them out in sequential order. But in order to do that, we're gonna make an iterator. We're gonna say iterator i equals um, strings dot iterator, which will get the iterator. Um, from which will create an iterate iterator from the array list, and we're going to say while i dot has next, which means the iterator has something in it at the next point. So an iterator, oh, an iterator is also a generic and wants to be a generic type. So we're going to say it's an iterator that's filled with strings because an iterator is basically copying everything from strings into an iterator, so you can iterate through it. And we're just gonna say system dot out dot print. I spelled that right. Okay, print line i. Man, i dot next, which is the string that's next. So if it has something next, it'll print something, and it'll do that as long as it has something next. So if we did this now, um, we don't want it to be print line, so because we want it to look all pretty and stuff. It's going to be hello world, all concatenated together. Now, if we did something like add at index 1, hello, add at index 0, that, add, and then just add that on top of them, then it would be weird. Index out of bounds, index 1, here. Because we probably want to set them in order. Like if we set the index to 0 and then to 1, it might work. Yeah, it'll work. But then if we set this to like this to zero and then keep that there, it should be world hello, comma, exclamation point. Because when you do put um something into a spot that already exists, it shifts it and everything over to the right. So it was like hello world and then it put world before hello. Then exclamation so world hello, comma, ex comma space exclamation point. So you can always have that order. You can always have that order, I mean to say. Then we'll just, let's add a different thing that'll be like in between them. We'll just do something silly, we'll say redacted. Now if we print this out now, it's obviously going to have that redacted in there. And we obviously do not want redacted in there. We'll just do strings dot remove. Now we know the we redacted is at index 3, but let's say you're programming something and you don't know all the indices of the object chap there, so we'll just remove anything, we'll just remove the one thing in this string, in this um, array list that is redacted. Uh, what's your, what do you want this time? Maybe, maybe we should put new string. That might help. Hmm. Apparently not. Oh, I have a problem there. That's just rude. Oh. Okay. So we want to um eliminate redacted before we get the iterator because we edited the um string array without editing the iterator, and the whole print line thing works off of the iterator. So now we have hello world as opposed to um as opposed to um uh hello um redacted world or hello world redacted. So that's removed. Now another thing I want to show you um is a hash map. Now hash maps are really nice. So array lists you add things and you can you know determine where you add them and stuff but how you access things the only way you can access things are by like strings dot um, get and you can only get an index and you can't like get an object out of it but a hash map is really nice in some circumstances and really bad in other so hash map is a generic thing that needs two things and we're just gonna do a string and um, integer and basically, like we I showed you as basic examples in the, um, when I taught you about generic types, this is the key, and this is the value. 
we're just gonna call this values and we'll say new hash map diamond notation because I don't want to write everything out again and that should be perfectly fine and we'll just do like a public static void array list and copy everything over here so it isn't cluttering stuff up now over here we'll do values dot now there isn't any set but there is put and for put you need to have a key which since we set up here it has to be a string so we're gonna put um, the key of octothorpe which is the name of this value right here so I know is a hashtag or a pound symbol octothorpe five and I'm gonna say five I'm going to do 5, 10, uh, 13, 21, 49, and 69. And for no reason, we're just going to set them to their respective values. So here we go. We have a whole bunch of values and keys in it now. Now we can do... Um, values dot get now the uh, you can just get the object you it return um, when you call um, uh, my apologies when you call get for hash map you have to input the key of the object and then it'll give you the value associated with that key so if we entered the string with octothorpe 5 that's a key for something in the hash map and it'll give us the um, the corresponding value, which would be five. So if we get the thing corresponding to thirteen, what we actually want, we'll just say like integer, integer, um, integer value, and we'll just do, we'll just print that out. So now we should, it should, oh, we, well, right now we'll get an error. Because it's an all-pointer exception. You're trying to get a key which isn't in there because I forgot the octothorpe. So now if we run it, it should be perfectly fine. Because it returned 13. Now if we did something more um, applicable and said, you know, like, name. And this time we'll set this to string. So it contains string. So name. Braliborn. And then we'll do password password or you can do like age which would be I don't know, let's put fifteen. Um height string for whatever reason you know obviously integer would make more sense for age we'll just put like five six I don't know how tall I am oh since it's a quotation mark how you would put an actual quotation mark in a in a I think you would just do like a backslash quote yeah you would do a backslash quote to add an actual double quote so instead of like closing something so that works perfectly Hi. What other things? Let me see. This should be like username, and this could be like name. And my name just happens to be Scott. And then we'll just have one last thing, and we'll call it surname. And my surname is, is of course, well, not of course. But my surname is Fasoni. So now we can get something. Um, we have to say string value. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and fetch my height and print it out. Hopefully it'll work properly. Yep. 5, 6. Then we can get my surname. So now you can just store a whole bunch of... Didn't want to do that. Now you can just store a whole bunch of random values and a whole bunch of random values and get them by just their key, which is really useful. Hash maps come in handy um, a lot of the time. 
And um let me see. Yeah, that uh you can't get an iterator for a hash map because it isn't sorted by indices, it's sorted by values. So yeah. That's a very nice hash maps and array lists and iterators. I mean, there are several other ones, like if you go into like to view like declarations of certain, you know, basic source code of the Java API. You know, this extends an abstract map, it implements map, which you know it has to. Clonable and serializable are just different things. You know, we can go like deep into the structure of Java source code. Um, which isn't well isn't necessary, obviously, but you know. You can learn a lot of things, you know, use abstract map. It's the parent class of all these things. It's abstract, which means you um, can't instantiate it. You have to actually make um, something to extend it. You have to make a child of it and instantiate the child. Which is just an interesting way to make um, certain classes. Maybe we'll go over abstract things next. Next episode. But, in the meantime, I will see you in the next episode. Tomorrow will be another calculator tutorial episode. Also, I um yesterday I posted my video a bit late because I did not upload it ahead of time and it takes forever to upload 1080p um YouTube videos. But it is up. You can go episode three for the calculated tutorial series. I'll see you tomorrow with an episode four of calculated tutorial series. And um good programming to you.